Hey, what's up everybody? Brian here from T-Sportline. Thanks again for tuning in another Cybertruck video. If you have these aero covers, you now have a limited edition and soon to be different aero cover. That's right. Change is definitely coming from Tesla on these aero covers. Let me dive right into it. If you watched my other videos, we talked about what was new about these aero covers and it's pretty obvious here a radical departure from what you'd expect in the past. The aero cover extends beyond the wheel. It goes up over the sidewall of the tire. And the aero covers on the inside here, this is hard plastic, but these last little extensions are a softer rubber. They're flexible in case the tire were to contact them. You have on the top side up here, you have a decent little gap between these rubber fingers and the tire sidewall and everything looks fine. Now that we've had the truck and driven it a couple thousand miles, well, there is an issue. So on the bottom of the tire, you have the effect of the vehicle being loaded and then you get the contact patch. So the tire deforms, which is totally normal. That's how it's engineered to work. The contact patch, which is where the tire contacts the ground, is gonna cause the tire to bulge out a little bit down here. Well, the problem with the tire bulging out is the sidewall gets wider on the bottom when it's contacting the ground. And now all of a sudden, these fingers are in direct contact with the tire sidewall on the bottom. And as you can imagine, every single time this tire rotates as you're driving, these fingers are coming in contact with the tire. They're coming into really pretty hard contact on the bottom. And then as the tire comes up, and you come off the contact patch and the tire sidewall conforms back to its original shape on the up on the upsweep the fingers let off the tire well every time it rotates these are digging into the sidewall so unfortunately that's caused the sidewall to wear down where these rubber caps are i'm going to pull this aero cover off we're going to bring you in close and show you exactly what's going on Okay, we're in up close here on the Cybertruck tire. This is the top side. You can see the aero cover, and then this is the rubber part of the spoke. Now, right off the bat, you can see right in here, that is sidewall that's been ground off by the aero cover. It, right in here, it should have these stripes. It should look like that. So you can see where that's worn off. Now, if I get in here and measure, the gap between the aero cover and the tire before it wore off was, well, it's hard to tell since it's worn off on this one, but it, this one's actually pretty tight. It was pretty close. I've seen them stick out a little more on other cyber trucks. It's gonna, there's a little bit of variation in the aero cover itself, but let's pull this off. Now, you can see in here how much of the tire sidewall has worn off. This truck has a couple thousand miles on it. You can imagine after, you know, 50,000 miles or 100,000 miles, this is not gonna be good. So we are highly confident that this part of the aero cover is going to be changed. Now, our sources tell us today, if you take delivery of a cyber truck, the aero covers are back ordered, call it whatever you want, out of stock, back ordered. The situation is a change has to be made on the aero cover outer rubber spoke section. We can't have the aero cover grinding away the sidewall on the tire. Okay, before you panic, let's go over a few details here. I'm gonna measure this one with a couple thousand miles has worn in about 120 thousandths. Now, for each cyber truck we've had, the wear has been a little bit different, give or take. This one has a few thousand miles on it. This is about as bad as I've seen. The first recommendation is take your aero covers off. Put them in the garage, store them. There's gonna be new aero covers coming from Tesla, I'm confident Tesla will solve this in short order. You'll be back in business. But I if this was my truck, I'd take them off because I don't want to wear into the tire. If you have a little bit of scuffing, that's not a big deal. But if you're driving tens of thousands of miles, it's going to be a problem. You're going to be replacing the tire. What does it mean with the tire? Well, the good news is the sidewall of the tire is, is really not the most critical part of the tire. It doesn't hold the air in the tire. If we take a look at a tire, I'm gonna bring this in. Let's take a look at a tire. If we start inside the tire, there's a layer of rubber in here called the inner liner, and this is a butyl rubber. This is what holds air in the tire. 
So this is not something you can mess with. Then in between the inner liner and the sidewall, we have cords. And the cords are a very important part of the tire. And the sidewall's primary purpose is to protect the cords. So if you wanna inspect your tire, if you have some scuffing on the sidewall, some scratches, let's say even you hit a curb or something, if, if it's a superficial scrape or, or you've rubbed off some rubber on the outside, if you can see the cords, that's a problem, the tire is scrap. If you can't see the cords, it's probably okay. But get it checked at a tire shop, they're the professionals. So the outer, the sidewall is really only here to protect the cords and for all the, to carry all the markings on the tire. That's, that's the good news. So if you have these, congratulations. You've got a limited edition collector's piece from the original Cybertruck launch. Okay, everybody, if you like this video, click the thumbs up below. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and activate the bell to be notified the next time we have a new Cybertruck video. Thanks again, everybody.